guys, here Mr. G again with Darkest Dungeon, part two, survive the tutorial, let's get cracking, McFats, let's take you through your first dungeon. Been a long time since I played this guy, so I'm just kind of looking for what's new since the last year, since they actually finished it, now that it's no longer in beta. So let me do a terrible job. Um, taking my guys through. Now, I know someone told me, one of my fans was like, don't say how terrible you are, but to be fair, I am pretty terrible. What do we got here? Torch? Yes! You know me, I'm scared of the dark. I love torches. Why would I not take this? Of course I'm going to take this. Give me that. All right, do, do, do. I love this knight, by the way. He just, he looks like a boss, right? He's like, got the classic crusader helm going on. Okay, so we got a couple, couple skeletons here. They Frightened our dudes, screwed up our order, so now we have what's her name in front, and we're starting with this dingleberry here. Um, these guys are probably wimpy. Let's hit them with an area of effect, right? Grape shot. Ooh, four and three, not too shabby. All right, this guy can only do curing some stuff and or buffing himself for damage, which does nothing if he can't hit anyone. So let's swap spots with. Not with this guy, that'll put him even further back. Oh no, skip turn, what a waste. So this game's kind of like chess, you want to have your pieces in the right spot, and you want to do the right moves. Alright, she probably shouldn't be in front here, but we can probably take one of these guys out if we just attack, right? So let's get the guy in the back here. Yes. That way, what's his name? Dismiss. What we got to rename this guy. So please, in the comments, uh, give me a better suggestion for this guy. Renald. Ooh, let's rename him too. So I'll take any suggestions you guys have on this one. All right, let's swap you spots with Dismiss. Sounds like what you do at the end of class period. You dismiss all the kids. All right, and pistol shot. Nope, that only works for the second row. So we got to use uh, that one. Now this whole new corpse thing definitely adds some more strategy elements. You gotta think about who can attack where more than you used to. Alright, let's get some loot. Yay, shovel. And this crusty thingy wants it. Alright, well, that'll help us unlock stuff back in the hamlet. Alright, how do we get out of here? Map. Switch to the map. Click on the next room. And away we go. Do, do, do. Oh, I hate these. Rubble. But fortunately, we have some shovels. Remember, guys? I was like, you got to bring a shovel. Trust me. It's the worst if you uh, don't have a shovel. It's like these guys don't know how to dig. Wait, let's collect ourselves. Okay, so she's in panic mode. The light is fading. The current torch level greatly affects many mechanics. Yes, it does. The darker it gets... The harder things get, but the better the rewards. Right-click on the torch from the inventory to boost light back up. So we do have a whole heap of torches. Can I light one now? Totally scared of the dark. Yes. Mm, it's still only at 71. That's still dim. Light up another one. There we go. Look at that radiant light. Okay. So let's just do an area of effect attack with this guy. Pippery. Oh, I think we should leave his name the same. Name like Pippery. Nope. I didn't want to change that. He did one damage. We've got to change his name to like something. Well, maybe Pippery fits for someone who does one damage. All right. Let's do a little stabby stab there with that. Okay. Oh, look at that. Way to go. Ooh, what are we doing here? Oh, I hate when tentacles come out. Oh, switches us up. What terrible strength. Now this class I grabbed for a reason is she can do some healing, but you know what? Nobody really even needs any healing. Now these abilities are randomized within a class. So there's maybe like eight skills and they get four of these. So you know what? Let's just self heal, I guess. No, let's switch spots so she can do something next round. All right, this guy, what do we want to do? Let's just smite this dude here, right? Oh, we have smitten you. Take that. You'll be hearing me say the word smitten uh, a lot more. Sorry, guys. I just love smiting things. It's one of my favorite things to do. Play a grenade. Come on, Peppery. Redeem yourself. Really? One? 
Oh, okay. At least he's done a poison there. Okay, we got four damage per second. So, Pippery, you're not quite as useless as I first thought. Maybe keep you around. Oh, look at that. I'm going to win this one yet. So, it's nice, guys. Even if, you know, you may win. It's nice to win and not totally stress out your crew. Because they don't just automatically get all healed up back at camp. Like in most games, you're like, go back to base, everyone's fine. Yeah, not these guys. You've got to pay for that. Okay, you gotta you gotta send them to the tavern or the church, or you gotta send them to the sanatorium to get all fixed up. So yeah, we want to keep them keep them happy. Whoa, bam! All right, won that one. Okay, so we've cleared two rooms, chugging along. Got a few more to go. Let's shortcut our way through this thing. All right. So can I leave? I'm gonna walk over here, head through the door. There we go. Using just WASD, I like how they added that in. Even though they didn't need to, it's just, we all like WASD controls, right? All right, let's take a look at the map. So here we've got a room with treasure and battling, and then a room battle with curio. Is that one of those weird unlock things? Okay, so let's let's get the, can I change party order here? I can't. Let's see. Okay, so they're back to default order there. Okay, lovely. Well, let's do treasure, right? Everybody likes treasure, so do 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 radiant light. Nobody can mess with us. Why would you sorry, it says shift click to reduce torch or to snuff it out. Why would you do that? We are afraid of the dark. We're not gonna do that. Alright, we got a key and we got some just standard loot. So if we come across a chest that's like a generic key, it'll just unlock said chest. So don't get excited that there's like a secret room. Not the case. So here we have this guy. He thinks he's Wolverine here. He's got the claws. Let's see what we can do with him. All right, plague grenade. Let's do the strongest one. This guy. Oh, I can only shoot in the back. Bummer. All right, well, we'll do that. Pippery. Great job, Pippery. All right, ouchy, ouch. Well, at least maybe we'll get to do some healing later. All right, do I get a turn here anytime soon? All right, so this guy's doing some good tanking, but he's getting a little freaked out. He's getting a little stressed out about getting whacked in the face. So let's hit all these guys here. Just fire us off. Let's do some thumping on the head. Let's get the wimpier guy first. Okay. Oh, eight. All right, we probably could use some healing. He's like half dead here. Can he heal himself? Uh, no, but he can hurt these two guys at the same time. Let's do that. Oh, we got one of them down, and this guy's nearly toast. So that's good. All right. And you know what? Area of effect. Maybe we can take two out at the same time. Well, we got one. Didn't get her. Old Pippery here is going to be useless again. Oh, good job, Pippery. One damage. But it worked. I take back what I said about Pippery. You're, you're okay, buddy. Not too shabby. All right, and let's open up the old chest -roo here. Bam. It's trapped. Well, what good was having a key there? Now, I have the option here to abandon quest because we have we scouted 90% of the rooms. We're good. Um, I don't see why we would need to abandon this one. Our guys are okay, right? Should we just keep them going? Should we keep them moving? We got the torch already, you know. Shadowy. Ooh, well, maybe hit the old inventory here. Right click. Dim light. All right, let's do dim, eh? We'll just heal this guy. Oh, this guy's like, I need a bandage. So he's bleeding out. So this guy, we're all not doing great. He's freaking out. So much blood. Ooh, and I walked right into a trap. That can happen. So anytime I want, I can just abandon quest, save these guys. Let's clear at least one more room. Now this guy's like, it's really dark. I'm scared. I don't blame you, pal. That's why it's called Darkest Dungeon and not Super Bright Happy Fun Dungeon. All right. Ooh, we're lost because I need to select a room. Okay. Well, let's go here. I don't know why I'm skipping that room. You know what? I hope too late. Let's... This guy's whistling. All right, he's going. He's going bonkers here. Can we not carry that? Are we? We just loaded up already. All right, are we all freaking out. 
Should I just call this a day? Oh, we're getting hungry. Oh, we have food, though. Oh, and look, we get a little bit of HP out of the deal, so not too shabby. Let's just keep on adventuring. Oh, we need we need some torchlight here. It's way too spooky. Way too dim. Oh, I love the graphics in this game. It's like a comic book. I love it. Is that it? There's nothing in this one? All right, one more room to clear, and I missed this one. I really should have hit it because I'm going to have to walk these poor guys all the way back. But don't worry, what's her name saying? Keep up our courage despite how scary it is. Bleakness, bleak meaning as in bad, empty, no hope. Oh, she says it's easier if you squint, right? Well, we're getting lots of extra loot, but we're going to take way more damage. Let's check the last room here. Okay, oh, a whole pile of baddies. Well, maybe you guys are going to get to watch Mr. G get totally wrecked because it's super dim. And we are going to take way more damage from monsters. That's okay. I'm feeling good about this, though. Right, guys? We'll be fine. Let me drink a little tea here. Okay, we got to do some healing here. Let's heal everybody a little bit. Oh, um, what's his name? Could have used a little more healing, but... We'll just go with it. Let's see what we can do to these two guys. Oh, we got a crit. Look at that. We're gonna... And look, crit means no corpse left over. So that is handy. Get the arbalist guy. By the way, if you didn't know, arbalist is crossbow. I'm not trying to talk down to anyone. I'm just shooting this for students here. Throwing in some vocab. Uh-oh. What's this guy doing? All right. Can we survive this? Oh, our, this guy is about to not be doing great. So can we heal? We can cure blight and bleed. Well, nobody is blight or bleeding. Will it give us one HP at least? Oh, it gets us one whole hit point. But you know what? I need my guy who does the smiting, right? So we can't have him dying. Just doing some area of effect there. So we're taking everybody down. Why can't we do divine grace? We can only cast this to the first two. I don't, I'm not seeing why we can't do that one, but okay. Let's just heal everybody again. I really don't want, what's his name? Rinald dying there. He's super stressed out too, which I can get that. You know, it's it's almost Friday here. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the stress. Okay, we need to do some more smiting. Well, apparently zealously accusing somebody. Oh, well, my students love to zealously accuse each other sometimes. Look that one up for bonus points, guys. All uh, right, and Arbalist Guy Toast. Look at that. So, ooh, we got a shovel. We could have used some torches. But I think we cleared everything except that one room and quest complete. Let's go back to the hamlet and I'll just wrap this one up. So we did one dungeon there. Hey, all right. We got some stuff, some gold, some heirlooms. This is stuff we use to unlock stuff in the hamlet. And these guys are still all level one, but they're working their way up. All right. Short on gold, sell stuff you don't need. Well, duh. What's this? Severe negative quirks. Over time, some negative quirks will lock into place and become severe. Severe negative quirks cost much more to remove them. That is new. So, making the game even harder. All right, and we've got like a log here, week two. We did one of our goals. Look at that. I knew this would not be easy. Of course it wouldn't dismiss. All right, so let's go to the tavern. We can do some stress relief. All right, heroes relieve stress by chilling out in the tavern or the abbey. So for example, Renald, super stressed, right? Can I not put you in here? Oh, this guy's busy. So I only have room for, what, one slot, and it's taken up with this guy? Can I unlock a slot here? Let's try. So we did some upgrading there. Can we get in here? Nope, still this guy in the way. All right. Well, that's why we have Stagecoach, right? Ooh, this guy goes to the Abbey. Is that it? Yes, of course. He's a knight, a crusader, religious dude. He needs to go to the Abbey to chill out. Okay. Of course, I was thinking he was, needs to go to the tavern, right? Oh, my goodness. Okay, can we get some new guys? Okay. 
Okay, this was a new one that wasn't around when I was here, an arbalist, so she got to have some sort of crossbow. And this guy, I believe, was like a leopard dude. It was a good tank class. And I don't think that cost me anything to get these guys, which is why it's great upgrading the stagecoach, because you're going to go through some guys in this game. Can we upgrade this level one? Yeah. Increase our barracks. Good. We want to hold more guys. So, all right. We can have 16 guys now, so I'm going to hopefully load up on some adventures. And then we're going to embark on another quest and unlock more things, kit more guys out, but that is it for today. I'm going to wrap this one up for Mr. G Plays Darkest Dungeon, Day 2. Thanks for watching. Give me some goofy names in the comments. <laughs>